Okay, so my um, camera apparently stopped working. That's okay. Because now I can refocus this. Who has the white over here in this part of the rainbow? Working it up into the blue. Piece by piece, far as the leg. Make sure you go all the way off the canvas. Off the canvas. And you can see I'm just going to touch, barely touch the tip of your brush to the canvas. Just don't push down like a marker, just drag the tips just barely over. If you want to do it one way, you can. Start at one side and then push over. Some people work a little better that way. Um, I'm happy with this. I know I'm going to work back through with a little bit of blue and black on the top. Alright, so I've got the blue and the white, and I'm just going to push it out again. What you're doing is you're pushing the white out. It's picking up more blue. As it picks up the blue, it's going to push, pull that blue back into the white. Just try to create a nice little haze. If it starts getting dry, you need either more paint or a little water on your brush. You can tap it on the rag. Just a tiny bit, not too much. You don't want to pull um, out from underneath the painting. What I mean by that is kind of pull the painting off of the canvas. It'll eat through a little bit. And you'll see that if your paint gets dry. All right, so I'm just pushing that out. And you know, some of these little marks where I get frustrated, just let them go. Because when it dries, they're gonna look like these beautiful, hazy marks. The last thing I wanna do is just add lots of blue back into my corners here. Making sure it's nice and wet. You can wipe your brush off if you'd like. Um, get yourself a little more blue if you need. A little more blue up there on the corners. Making it wet, excuse me, making it wet so that going to add a little bit of black in here. Now black's really strong, so you just want to take a tiny bit on the corner of your brush, just a tiny little bit, and lots of blue. Okay, it's still recording. Making sure. Lots of blue, little black. I'm going to start right here at the corner with that black. Just kind of give each corner a little tip. And now I'm going to work it in. See how strong that black is? Oh my gosh, make sure your brush is not drippy. You do not want to drip down your painting. All right, again, start right here with a little bit of that black. I push some on the corner. And I'm going to spread it, pull it right down the canvas. Just about halfway into that blue. Okay, I'm good with this. Okay, I'm happy here. We're going to basically do the same thing. We're going to take this canvas, you're going to flip it over and repeat the exact same steps. Um, you can probably watch the video again, or rewind it if you'd like for me to start from the beginning with the blue and the white. I'm gonna skip forward and tell you that once you've flipped it over and you've done the same process of white and blue and the white and spreading it out, you're gonna end up with something about like this. Um, once you've gotten this far, you will have one step that you can possibly do. You can get yourself a little bit of white paint. If you don't have any clean white, take your finger, place your finger right there in the middle of your swirl. And I cannot make a perfect circle, but I can spiral pretty well. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spiral out with a little bit of this white. And when it's done in its circle, it's gonna give this kind of impression light blue impression that there might be a moon hiding behind those clouds there. Okay. Add a little water to your finger to the edges. Smear them on out. And you can get this as dark or as light as you like. This is going to be your moon. It's also good for patching up areas using your finger to paint a little water. It can sometimes work better than a brush. So you just get that flat surface there. And again, if you find an area really just like after you have dried it, then you can take that area and make sure your tree covers it. No mistake, only happy accidents. Okay. Now I kind of smeared it out, and what I want to do now is take a little bit of blue. It's probably on my fingers anyway, so a hot mess. Take a little blue on your finger. I'm just going to make some circles on it. Little circles, big circles. This is just kind of like an idea of those craters. This is not a perfect surface. 
Okay, so it's not going to matter how well they're done once it's dry. And just smooth out those edges with a little bit of water on your face. Very nice. At this point, I want you to make sure and dry your painting completely. Um, you can put it under a hair dryer, you can put it out in the sun. Um, but you want to make sure that there are no shiny spots at all before we start using chalk for the tree. 